back to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is it's full time mma and this has got to be one of the dumbest fucking rankings updates I have ever seen. And, it, and it's just because it makes no sense. Let's get into it. I'm going to try and make this quick because I've got some stuff to do today. But with that being said, the UFC has updated their rankings and kicked George St. Pierre out of the middleweight rankings. And Ronda Rousey has stayed in the women's bantamweight rankings. Now, when you take into consideration what I just said, it makes no sense and there's no fucking logic behind it. The only thing I can think of is possibly some political shit with the U UFC and the WWE because, hear me out, Ronda Rousey just signed a full-time WWE deal. Full-time MMA? Full-time WWE? <laughs> Ugh. Oh my god, I just thought about that. Full-time WWE? Doesn't that sound trash? <laughs> Anyways, fucking Ronda Rousey has signed a deal with the WWE. It's full time. She doesn't plan on coming back to MMA soon. Whenever she left MMA, it was unceremonious. She didn't speak to any MMA media. She didn't comment on her last fight on the lead up or the exit. Hell, I don't even think we talked to Ronda Rousey after losing to Holly Holm, but maybe one time. Maybe she showed up on like Ellen DeGeneres or, you know, the, the stuff out of touch from most MMA fighters. Most MMA fighters aren't getting on Ellen and Jimmy Fallon and all of these crazy places Ronda Rousey has been. So maybe that's where she decided, decided to talk about it. But honestly, either way you look at that, Ronda Rousey seems to be done with MMA. And even, you know, though she hasn't officially retired, even though she's not out of the USADA drug testing pool, I don't know why not. She's not going to fight again in MMA. She hasn't fought. It's funny because she actually fought more recently than Conor McGregor in MMA. Ronda Rousey fought at UFC 207. Conor McGregor fought at UFC 205. Who'd have thunk? But either way, as far as these rankings are concerned, that doesn't matter when you talk about George St. fucking Pierre, who was just the middleweight champion a month ago, hello, what the fuck, George St. Pierre was just the middleweight champion a month and a half ago, and now he's not even ranked up there, because he got colitis, how the fuck is that fair, Michael Bisping, the guy that George St. Pierre just knocked down and choked out, and then got knocked out by Kelvin Gaston shortly after, I'm fine, love Michael Bisping, one of my favorite personalities in the sport, but how are you going to have, if you're starting to kick niggas out like George St. Pierre, boom, Michael Bisping off the rankings, boom, David Branch off the rankings, boom, Uriah Hall, boom, Vitor Belfort, boom, Brad Tavar, boom, I don't want to see none of these niggas over GSP, bro, how do you have GSP number six on pound for pound, but kick him all the way off the fucking middleweight rankings? I don't get it, bro. You literally have Michael Bisping ranked number six at middleweight, and we all know George St. Pierre is above. At all I'm saying is, yeah, we know George St. Pierre's only fought one time at middleweight. I hear you. I get it. But we at least know George St. Pierre is still a better fighter than Michael Bisping at 185 pounds. Is that fair? So whatever you guys want to do with these middleweight rankings, and I honestly don't know who the fuck does these rankings, but... I know they say it's not the UFC, there's not like one person you can pinpoint to, they're always like, you know who does the rankings? No, but we need to figure it the fuck out, because <clears throat> who's doing the rankings to leave Ronda Rousey in the rankings? If this person doing the rankings isn't Dana White, <laughs> wouldn't that be crazy if Dana White was in the office somewhere doing the rankings? I know he's not, but I'm just saying, how are some of these rankings kind of biased to what Dana White, you know, is cool with? And what I mean by that is, Dana White was pissed off at George St. Pierre, if you think about he said, look, he didn't want to fight Woodley, he didn't want to fight this guy, he he only wanted to fight Bisping, then he came and fucking left like I knew he would, and I thought I was going to be pissed off about it, but since I saw it coming, I'm not even pissed, but either way, Dana White did not like that shit from GSP, so Dana White would be fine with GSP getting kicked out of the rankings. On the other hand, Dana White is fine with Ronda Rousey in the WWE. We haven't heard Dana White say anything bad about Ronda Rousey. Like, yeah, she never spoke to the media. She just dipped. She signed with the WWE. He's completely fine with that, or we would have heard more of a stink from Dana White. I, I haven't heard Dana White say one bad thing about Ronda Rousey or the WWE since this has happened. So with that being said, Dana White's cool with Ronda Rousey going to the WWE. And which means he's cool with her staying on the rankings, right? I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that, but what I'm saying is, I'm sure if Ronda Rousey was kicked out of the women's bantamweight rankings, that would have to be ran by Dana White in my mind. Maybe not now since there's a new ownership, 
But either way, you get the fucking point. How is Ronda Rousey, somebody who's signed with a whole nother organization and hasn't fought since UFC 207, kicked out of the rankings, or not kicked out of the rankings, when GSP is? And we can take it to Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor hasn't fought in MMA since UFC 207. He's still sitting way up there high on the, you know, totem pole of number two ranked pound for pound fighter on the planet. He hasn't been stripped. He hasn't vacated. So I guess GSP should have sat around with his belt if he didn't want kicked off the rankings. GSP decided to do a good thing, he thought. Hey, I don't want to hold up this division. I'm sick. I'm not going to be back for a while. Take the belt. And what did he get rewarded for? For making what you would might think is the right decision, not tying up a division. How did he get rewarded for not tying up a division? By getting kicked out of the rankings. How does Conor McGregor get rewarded for tying up the division? Sitting on top of the rankings. So you see what that be. I don't understand what's going on here. It just seems like George St. Pierre's getting the short end of the stick. But hey, it is what it is. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. Or if you can explain this shit. Because I don't get it. How can you say it's, oh, it's because he's not he, he's not fighting in middleweight no more. Oh, so when is Ronda Rousey coming back? Alright, I'm out. It's the motherfucking D-O-Double-G.